Hi, Sirius Bruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 35. And I did some off-camera stuff, like I got all five completions of Eternity Challenge 11 here. And actually, while I was doing this, there a little balancing update came out. And the goal of this got reduced by E50 for all completions, which is interesting. There's also a bug that made it so that... Like, I, I think I was on the third completion, and then I clicked Eternity, and then, like, everything broke. But, no, my save is fine. And the last thing I did is is I grinded Eternities. Um, just because, like, there wasn't really anything else to do. I'd beaten all five iterations of the challenge, and I didn't, I didn't want to, like, wake everyone up in my dorm. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah. Better just to do something like that, rather than something rather than start recording so anyway i'm i also somehow got more 30 points even though i i wasn't even trying but here we go i can get even more like this e1160 i can i'm probably gonna be able to hit e1300 right here which is kind of crazy i have no completion of eternity challenge 12 so this is this is crazy that i'm able to hit this high like this is probably this is probably due to the glyph doing its effect. Oh, unfortunately, I'm still going to need to do five completions of Eternity Challenge 12. But yeah, E1300 Eternity points. Like, no problem. And this is where all the scaling is going to hit. And I'll be able to get more Eternity points, but I'm still not going to be able to unlock Dilation. Maybe this is a good point to try to get that last completion of Eternity Challenge 10. Um... I don't even know when, it's E1405 the next thing, I can get E1372 Eternity Points, and I guess do this, I hope I can beat this, okay, yeah, it, it's easy, so now, now what, I think I want to go into this idle path, or Eternity Challenge 12, this is, this is a little bit weird, but I think that for Eternity Challenge 12, I'm, I will want something like this i'm, I'm going to save this as a new idle path i know passive is supposed to actually be better but i think that i'd, I'd rather just get this with the, the idle path i think i probably want like 223 222 definitely 232 and then go into the challenge i could save but the thing is that i'm actually gonna do it like this so i don't get all those i'll call them extraneous studies even though it's probably not the right word to use and just get the light and dark ones just so that i don't like it's not going to ruin the early parts of the runs so i do have to kind of do this just a little bit later and then save and then just go into the challenges this is going to be easy yeah i think this is one of those challenges that like really benefited from my time to mention glyph here so you can see it takes only about five milliseconds to reach the goal of the challenge. Just, just, it's just crazy. And this means I can unlock dilation. And I kind of just want to see before I go into dilation, just how far I'm able to get. Like previously, I was able to get somewhere around E thirteen fifty attorney points. Now it looks like I can probably I can reach about E fourteen thirty, which. Well, it's enough to start getting more time dimension upgrades, but it's not enough to get any more turning point multipliers, so it's not actually gonna allow me to get farther. It is interesting just to see this. Like, you can see, like, yeah, a couple more orders of magnitude, but not that much. It's better just to start going into dilation. So, that's what I'm going to do. Dilation, I probably want to make a dilation build. I'm not really sure what's the most optimal at this point, but I can, well, I'm, I can try. Dilate time. I hopefully, okay, it, at least it's easy to gain our first Hackyal Particles. And this is where things are going to start getting interesting because I have a three times boost to dilate time and a three times boost to Hackyal Particles. So this means that the whole dilation phase is going to be a lot quicker. And you can see, just from the first two upgrades, how much quicker it's going to be. Like, you can see, it's only, even this third upgrade is only going to take 
like 10 seconds and then five seconds to reach this upgrade so yeah it's pretty cool now this is not going to really get me very far in eternity points it's enough to start getting the next eternity point multiplier except that's not really all that good i probably want to just enter dilation and or just for the dilated time but actually maybe this is a good time while i'm waiting um well i can get this upgrade which isn't going to do much now but whatever while i'm waiting i can maybe concoct a dilation build so what what do i want to do for dilation um i probably want to get well i'm just going to get this for now in dilation i'm overwhelmingly going to be idle although there is the time dimension multiplier equal to replicanti amount although or no no not that the the replicanti galaxy amount that's what i mean and i i'm not sure what's better in dilation because the thing is that dilation runs usually are very long because of how they i get twice the amount of dilated time while i'm in them so i feel like idle would be better in a situation like this now i'm not sure if this is quite the right decision also i can pick another path for first split go time dimensions and then get all of these the real thing is the light and dark study i think i still want to go 228 i i think i might want to go 223 for dilation i'm not sure maybe i would actually need to be in dilation for this there's also stuff like 221 versus 222 i'm pretty sure 222 is better the big one here is 225 versus 226. I think that 225 is better, at least in the long run. So that's what I'm going to go with. There's also 223 versus 224. I'm going to... Actually, what I can do here is I can I can actually try going into dilation. Like, here's a triple the amount of attack young particles gained. So we can see actually how many dimension boosts I'm getting. In dilation so i can see what's better and yeah 223 is definitely better 232 is like always stronger than 231 or at least that's what i think so i'm just gonna go with that and then there's the 233 versus 234 and uh, really not sure about this actually it's this is a very tough one because oh my god i'm I'm, I'm really I just want to see what I have here. I'm not sure if this is dilation. Probably dilation, honestly. I, I don't even know what this is, actually. Um, but maybe... The thing is that, like, 233 might be better now, but then once I get the infinity point dilation upgrade, it may just be completely different. There's also, like, when I get more infinity points, I can get more of the dilation... More, more not infinity points. More, more infinity points. I can get more replicanti because I barely have any interval upgrades here. So I probably, I'm not sure what to go for. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two thirty four, I guess, and then call this dilation. Um, I'll just call it a dill. Um, and so this is gonna allow me to get. E4 tachyon particles is also this, which, yeah, it'll, it'll help a little bit. Um, and then I should probably honestly just go right back into dilation. And things are starting to slow down, unfortunately, even within dilation. Actually, no, it's not too bad here. It takes like 15 seconds to get the next doubler. And then it's probably going to take like 10 seconds to reach another threshold upgrade. But the thing, the big thing here is that dilation will always become slow because this is not new game plus plus plus. We don't have make the tachyon particle formula better, which really like that upgrade helps so much. It's the only reason why I'm able to get all the way to like E40 dilated time and unlock meta dimensions and new game plus plus plus. Here, I just have to deal with the crappy vanilla game version of dilation and it's not all that exciting honestly like there's triple the amount of tachyon particles gained here but i i mean it's really just the same thing over and over again just keep going to dilation until i get all these upgrades 
So I think I'm just going to do the rest of these off camera because I mean, actually, no, well, I'm not sure. I probably want to do it off camera though. I mean, this may be except for the interesting upgrades. So yeah, see in a bit. Well, here's an interesting upgrade coming up. It's just the time dimensions are affected by the Replicanti multiplier. It isn't actually that good, but I guess it's something. I, I mean, honestly, for dilation runs, it's kind of a crappy upgrade. But whatever, it's something, at least. Okay, the next interesting upgrade here is this one. You can buy all three time study paths from the dimension split. So I guess I can just get this. Save this into the dilation build and then continue onward. There really isn't actually, I mean, it's okay, but it actually isn't that good. Like you can see, it was at like 7e3, now it's 2e4. So it's not like that's gonna help all that much. I mean, maybe I should disable dilation, but you can see the, the upgrades are now not seconds away, but minutes away. So I mean, it's still significantly faster. Like, this is nine times faster than what w it would be, like, normally. And then another two times faster, at least before the reality update, because of this achievement reward. Game two times out of time. And time theorems, which don't really matter at this point, because that's the other thing. I am going for the telemechanical process here, which, I mean... Auto buyers for the time dimensions and five times EP multiplier? Yes, please. Like, normally, like actually, what's interesting is that in New Game Plus Plus Plus, you unlock them through an achievement in the meta dimensions era. It's like around E60 dilated time. But in this game, it's different. So, it's this upgrade, which unfortunately, it's. It's going to be 50 reality machines, even if I get this. And it also improves the eternity modifier. Probably gets stuff like X times last eternity, which actually comes standard in New Game Plus Plus Plus. It's interesting. But you see, there's still significant waiting here. I can probably like disable dilation and get like something decent here. Now I'm getting a little bit more dilated time per second, but it's not really that much. Well, there's one more interesting upgrade here, which does reduce the dilation penalty, which is okay. It actually, actually is pretty good. It's better than I expected. It, it doubles the amount of tachyon particles I gained, but even that, the next upgrade is still about three minutes away. So, I mean, it will get a little bit faster because I'll get this doubler, then a tripler, and then a more galaxies. And then the infinity point upgrade. So this actually isn't all that bad. Like 10 to 15 minutes for everything up to the infinity upgrade. Like this would normally take two, two, three hours. I mean, of course, I'd still like it to be a lot faster. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it in under a minute once I get like paradoxically attained. There's only 15 reality machines. So... I'm, ex I'm super excited for that, but unfortunately, we have to deal with the reality that we're in, which is this one. Okay, it's been, I don't know, 5-10 minutes, and I can get the infinity point dilation upgrade. And this one is just, it's pretty good at getting me tachyon particles, but the big thing here is that... I'm going to actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to respect time studies on next eternity so I can start. It's usually around here where I can start really making progression outside of dilation. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load. Um, I think I think I just load active and then uh, dilation. Actually, I don't even need dilation here, but you can see just how many eternity points I'm getting with this. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's mostly just because of, like, the tachyonic galaxies or tachyon galaxies. I keep saying tachyonic because New Game Plus 3R calls it that, but whatever. It's enough to start gaining eternity points, and this is where I think the focus is going to shift to trying to get this upgrade. But that is next episode. So hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.